What's going on everyone? So today we are going to be making a custom plow bracket for the plow that I did purchase for the Yamaha Grizzly and we're going to be using some leftover angle iron that I had laying around so basically we're going to be cutting this up to be able to mount underneath the Yamaha Grizzly but first we need to make it fit for the plow itself and then we'll worry about mounting it to the Grizzly. So the first thing we're going to do is measure from this outside tab to the outside of this tab, get that measurement, and then we'll mark it on the angle iron and then add whatever the width is of the angle iron to that twice. So then we'll make that cut and then we're going to notch this out. Well. Let me just mark up everything and we'll start cutting and I'll show you as I'm kind of doing it what I'm doing and this way you guys will get a better feel for exactly how I'm doing this. So basically let's start marking things up and start hacking away at the angle iron. Alright so I just cut the piece to the length that I need to start with. Now the actual width between the two tabs over there is 12 and a half inches which is from this line to the end of here and I added about two, 4 inches so 2 inches for each side for the depth of the angle plate. Now the reason I'm going to do that is because I'm going to measure or find the center and then measure out the or measure in two inches, whichever one's easier, but I'll probably find the center and then measure out uh, five and three quarters, five and three quarters, or no, six, six and a quarter, six and a quarter, to get that 12 and a half that I need from end to end, and then I'm gonna make a line down each side, and then hack this piece out, that two inch by two inch piece out, and then I'm going to bend down the tabs downward to the angle plate to box it off. And All right, so I have the tabs bent over, as you can see, so I kind of have a box here. Now, I'm not going to just leave it like this. I am going to take my welder. This doesn't roll away from me. I'm going to run a bead right here, run a bead right here to weld this up and fully box it out so it can't spread out or whatever. And I did test it on the tabs, so as you can see, both sides, it slides over, which means once we drill a hole, we can throw a pin through each side and it'll be good. Alright, so I just finished welding everything up. My welds are not the prettiest. Eh, a couple of them are, but I don't weld often. And, well, that's my excuse. I don't weld often enough, but they are holding, they're strong. So, so next thing we're going to do is drill, drill a hole through the side of this, right in the middle here, and then match it through this plate. And same thing on this side, hole and hole. And then we will bring the four-wheeler into the garage and mark where we need to drill the holes for the U-bolts to mount this to the four-wheeler. But first, let's drill these holes and make sure they'll line up. All right, so we just drilled the holes and the pins go all the way through and they also go through the plow and the plow is able, well, this is able to spin on the plow. So now we're gonna go grab the four-wheeler.
So we just mounted the bracket as you can see there underneath the four wheeler and I used some leftover U-bolts as you can see right here that I had from a different bracket and I tried to center it the best that I can on there and I drilled one pilot hole right here got this bracket on and then I drilled the holes for this side for that U-bolt and made sure this way everything was aligned and was mounted up and it's pretty sturdy on there now we're going to test fit the plow underneath it so I'm going to back it off the ramps put the plow underneath it put the pins in we'll see how it looks with that well as you can see the plow is mounted unfortunately I only have this uh, little u-bolt here holding the hook to the actual plow to pull it up and down just to test fit it. I'm going to have to get like a chain link here because the hole here is too small for the hook. So I'll get a chain link probably tomorrow morning from the store just to make this official. But otherwise the plow, grabbing my light here, is mounted underneath. It was a little pain in the butt, but it's mounted and it functions just as it should got the winch here and it actually goes up pretty high which is awesome so we're going to extend it it's down now we're gonna pull it up yep there we go that's awesome Sweet! And as far as the wireless controller, as you noticed, because on the last four-wheeler that I had the wireless one on, the key or the remote just kind of dangles here, and I don't want it to get jammed up underneath here. So what I did was I got some Velcro, and I Velcroed it right here on the handlebar. This way the key still turns on and off but the remote's still here, so as you're driving, you're gonna go for the reverse, plus retract, and then back to forward, and then extend. So this hand is moving from the handlebar down to here anyways, so this hand's already open, that's why I put it on this side, because this hand is gonna be on the throttle and have your four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive shifting, so. But otherwise, that's it for this video. Made up a plow bracket. Yeah, I could have tried to find one and buy one, but I had leftover angle iron. These are really dusty. I had, left I had leftover angle iron, figured I would use it, mount it up, and it seems pretty sturdy. So we'll see how it does. If it does snow tomorrow, I'll try and make a video of it if you guys want to see that. But anyways, if you enjoy this video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you don't, go ahead and hit the dislike button, but let me know what I can improve on for next video. And as always, if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. I greatly appreciate it. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.